The first thing we're looking for is a balanced horse. That means that we want everything to blend nicely together. Okay, that livestock's growing. Being able to judge the quality of alfalfa, very important because you're paying a lot of money for alfalfa. We want that protein content of that feed to be up there pretty high, right? We're gonna feed this alfalfa hay to our ruminant animals, okay? Our animals that have the four compartmental stomachs or modified stomachs. We'll have you all put your hands in the rumen. I want you to feel the difference between the papillae on top and the papillae on bottom. The main tool of a welder fabricator is a tape measure because accuracy and measurement is critical. What we offer as a company is we do controlled pollination. Almond, apple, apricot, avocado, and so we're able to apply pollen right at the right time. A lot of our greenhouse space here is actually dedicated to student projects. We're fortunate enough to be able to provide different climates and controlled environments. My major is plant science. My major is animal science. My major is ag business. My major is ag technology. My major is equine science. My major is ornamental horticulture. I am Dakota and I studied agriculture at COS and then I transferred to Fresno State where my major is agriculture education. One out of every five jobs in the San Joaquin Valley is related to agriculture. So that means our students are going a lot of different directions, have a lot of different opportunities and College of the Sequoias really provides that foundation for them. COS was really awesome because it gave you the chance to kind of explore what you want to do without putting yourself in the debt. I was actually really excited. I didn't know that we had this beautiful farm out here. I didn't know about the smaller classroom sizes and the dedication that the teachers here on campus have for the students. All of our facilities are brand new, state of the art. The Tulare Campus College of the Sequoia sits on 500 acres. There are three main buildings, A, building administration, counseling, financial aid, all are housed in that building. The main academic building is B building, and of course C building, which houses our welding and agriculture technology program. Also, the acreage serves as a learning laboratory for the agriculture program. We have the beef unit. Today, we're evaluating this class of bred shorthorn heifers. Swine unit. <laughs> Sheep unit. Which sheep is heavier muscle? Equine barn. AI lab. We'll see where she's at in her cycle. This is our pavilion. We do have a horticulture and plant science unit. This controls the humidity. This is our, our sprinkler lines here. Everything is species dependent. We also have the business side of agriculture that supports our production agriculture. I don't go to Visalia, I stay strictly at Tulare, so it makes my life easier. And if I need anything ever, my professors are always on campus, ready to help. The technology that we're able to use here as students is a lot of the things that haven't even hit industry yet. We have all of these units, and in the units we have our labs. It is the science, the business, the technology of our agricultural disciplines. Our textbooks are actually based off of industry standard. We're an applied academic program. Agriculture professors here at CUS bring up a lot of opportunities for us, including scholarships, internships. CUS definitely helped me get this internship. Having that relationship with my instructor, him knowing what my future career goals are, he was able to plug me right into that internship. College of the Sequoias most certainly prepared Tara for success. She has the technical background that comes with having a wonderful ag facility right within her reach all of the time. The way my mom puts it is at COS, I'm a big fish in a little pond, and then when I go to Fresno, I'm going to be a little fish in a big pond. Students from COS are very well prepared. The program there aligns very well with ours, and it makes for a familiar transition for them. I want to make sure that all of my units were going over smoothly and I had everything figured out and in line. This facility is a beautiful facility for students to attend. Everyone kind of becomes like a family. You see your teachers on a daily basis or you see them even when you don't have classes. I think it is because it is so small here, but it's 
it's actually not that small, if you think about it. Explore the plant science, the ag technology, the animal science. Take an introductory course. Make sure it's what you want to do. See if it's what you're passionate about. This entire valley revolves around agriculture, and we do need skilled labor, and that is something that we are working on producing here in COS that you could be a part of.